So let's start working with partial views now and like I said, a perfect candidate for a partial view is a list of candies. So let's open that. This portion of the code can be used not only here to list all the candy, but also to loop through and display all candy that is on sale that week. So let's create a partial view in the shared folder. So in the views and shared folder, I'm going to add another view. So I go to class. So we go to web and select a razor view. And I'll call this one underscore candy card. I'll delete all this, move this away so you can see better. And here I want to go back to the list because this is the code that we want to reuse. All of this can be used both to list all the candy as well as the candy that is on sale. So I'll select all the HTML and leave just the for each loop, cut it and place it in my candy card. But now we of course have a problem because we are displaying data for candy, but we do not have it available in our partial view. And that's of course very simple. We simply have to add the using directive. So on top of the view, I'm going to add add model and we want the candy model. You can see though that the view does not recognize candy and that's because in our previous code, this was part of the for each loop. You can see we loop through candy in model.candies. So it's still looking for the variable candy in our loop. So all we have to do here is to simply change candy to the model. Because model is the candy itself, so it has all the properties available. So it's going to be model image, model price, and model for the name and ID as well. And of course for the description. All right, so we have our partial view. This is all we need to do here. So let's go back to the list. And here, as we loop through the candy model in the candy list view model that is passed into this list view, we will call and display the partial view because partial view now, if you notice, is a single display of a single candy. So as we loop through them, each of them will have its own display or its own card. So to do that, we need to bring in the tag helper called partial. And we specify the name of the partial view, which in our case is the candy card. And we specify the model, which in this case is the candy itself as we loop through them. So it's the candy. So again, here I call the partial view for the candy card and I'm passing the candy model, which is the instance of the candy that comes from the candy list view model as we loop through it. All right, let's run it. And when I go to the candy slash list, the page is exactly the same as it was. Nothing has changed, which is good. We did not want anything to change. We wanted to display everything as it was before. We simply streamlined how the view is coded and how it processes data and we created a reusable partial view. So now let's create another partial view and that is going to be for our homepage. 